Do you think uh, I'm always right? Maybe most of people think that I'm always right. I'm confidently my story is really right. Today I want to share some uh, bias on the prejudice of our thinking processes. And uh, maybe it's come from uh, your experience or other opinions previously. So, and finally, and how to avoid our decision errors. And the three cases are serial that uh, by some uh, experiment will be interesting. Do you think say is believing? Most of think or uh, think of that and you give a right. But do you think something uh, you see? Is that always the, it is true, you see, the some uh, experiment. It's very interesting. It is a horizontal line will be parallel or some slopes. Raise your hand, it will be slow. Slide, right. And uh, it's just parallel. Good. <laughs> it is a perfect parallel. It, uh, we will say it, it's an uh, uh, optical illusion. In other cases, it is uh, uh, Jefferson uh, the turning tables. Uh, how about the size of uh, this top and the left and the right of the top size is uh, exactly the same or different? How about you see? It's the uh, same which we have. And some different. Yeah. It's also on other cases. Is a perfect same. I'm rotating the table. The size of the top is a amazingly same. So we believe 90% of our information from the eyes, but sometimes it will be wrong. We need to see the uh, beyond the obvious. The second one. Misinformation effect. I will show you some short videos. Uh, it is some uh, interesting test. Uh, that's cheap paintings by the IKEA from 10 euros. And it is uh, displayed in a famous museum. And they interviewed some art experts. How do they say? Hi, my name is Boris. You can't live with us. Everyone does all this high class of kunst. Hier achter mij in het moderne kunstmuseum in Arnhem hangt voor tig miljoen aan kunst. Waar in dit schilderij uit de street art collection van Ikea er tussen hangen? Wat zouden mensen nou het verschil zien tussen een schilderij van pak een beetje 10 euro en een high class kunstwerk uit het museum? Tijd voor de test. De verbeelding van zijn grafos in zijn geest. Het heeft vooral een heel erg mooie geest. Van een kunstenaar die zijn emotie kwijt kan. Je moet toch zien hoe zo'n zo walvis daar door die machine wordt opgepakt. Hoe het vorm en hoe het hutje. Ergens in Afrika of zo. How about price? Dat is een dikke duizend. Dit koop je niet bij de expo. Snap je? Nee, exact. Ja. Ja. exact. 200.000 euro. 666.000. Kost je dit voor? <laughs> Just about the, uh, it shows that our deepest uh, thinking habit, it make an error in our decision or thinking process. The other case is sure that uh, it's mind bias. We say it's a uh, prejudice. In rather short videos, uh, some a famous biologist uh, played their uh, performance in the 2007 in Washington D.C. in Metro. So how the so many people are here the music? Check it out. Thank you. 
alchemist, uh, the artist, or the Joshua Beck, he's a very famous violinist. Uh, his ticket for the entrance is 1,000. And the violin he played is $48 million. <laughs> Nobody figures, just the president. We judge your person by your appearance is a prejudice. Mm -hmm. So most of people miss our famous performance. <laughs> avoid this mind gap. It's very simple. We will think I might be worried. Maybe you're betting I'm confident that 55 percent win. You when you can go to the Wall Street, you will be millionaire, buy the luxury house, buy the nice car. Furthermore, the Roosevelt is one of the distinguished person in 20th centuries. He said, I want just to write 75% over you and me. As my conclusion to reduce your uh, mistake and mind bug, first, open your mind. Seek your second opinion to your neighbors. Do not solitude. And take time, just two times, twice, I will be maybe not right. And the last one, and best, most favorite things, try to put yourself in their shoes. You will be get along with your neighbors. Most of people, not fair, not always, including you and me. There is no exception. Thank you.